Hello, I'm Maria Hall Brown, and this is LA Currents. Well, after a successful 20 year career in law, she decided to focus her attention on public service. I'm delighted today to be joined by Councilwoman Tracy Parks from District 11. So nice to have you here. Maria, thank you for the invitation. It's wonderful to be here. Good, 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 good. Okay, you don't exactly have a traditional background in politics, so what prompted your decision to throw your hat in the ring to be a, a council member? You know, I had been a practicing attorney here in Los Angeles for more than 20 years and running for office is not something that I ever imagined that I was going to do. But as a resident of Venice, I had had a front row seat to the humanitarian crisis unfolding in our community. And so after giving it some thought, I decided that with my background and my skill set, that this was something that I thought I could do and maybe even be good at. And I recognized that my community was asking for my help and that I needed to step up and answer that call. And so that's what prompted me into the race. And also, as you mentioned, you know, being a resident of Venice, what are some of the things that you immediately saw that needed to be addressed? You know, what are some of the things that really stood out to you? And obviously some of them are quite apparent. Yeah, well, you know, in Venice, we have the highest concentration of unhoused individuals anywhere in the city outside of Skid Row. Over the last several years, we had seen a very concerning uptick in the level of crime. Our business community had been hard hit by the pandemic. And you know, Venice is the number one tourist destination in all of Los Angeles. And yet our local businesses were holding on by a thread. But a lot of other things as well. We are obviously the coastal district and a lot of concerns about protecting and preserving our ocean and our coastline. A significant part of my district is in our high fire severity zones. And there is a lot of concern there about fire season and what can be done to ensure that we have adequate uh, resources at the fire department and good ingress and egress evacuation routes and fire preparedness. And so those were a lot of the things that were going on in the background that I was aware of and recognized that I might be able to help make some improvements. What have you learned about the homeless problem in uh, you know, District 11 that might be somewhat surprising to other people? You know, during my campaign, I spent a lot of time in encampments talking to unhoused individuals because I felt like as a policymaker, it's really important for me to understand what has worked for people, what hasn't worked, what their stories are. I heard oftentimes from older folks living on the streets that they didn't want to go into housing with youth. And yet we have no transitional housing online in the city that is exclusive to seniors 55 and up. Uh, I looked at different types of housing strategies and models that were out there. And for young people who are aging out of foster care, which is one of the largest feeders into homelessness for youth, we don't have a variety of shared housing models, which is great for that demographic where you can have built-in community and education and employment programming. Uh, women who are victims of domestic violence require a different kind of environment and supportive services than other folks living on the street. Obviously, families with children have very different needs. And I think one of the issues that government generally has created for itself is putting a lot of regulatory barriers around the type of housing that we're building and how people coming into housing are vetted. And I think we have just got to kick some of that out of the way so that we have more flexibility in designing specific strategies for interventions for specific demographics. And I'm very hopeful that with the mayor's partnership and her leadership through her Inside Safe initiative and the collaborative work that she's doing with our state, federal and county partners, that we'll be able to clear some of that out of the way. And I, I am cautiously optimistic that we might actually begin to see some progress here. And you were the chair of the Trade, Travel and Tourism Committee. There are a lot of big things coming to Los Angeles in the next few years. What is your strategy and how are you hoping to implement it? 
So I couldn't be more thrilled <laughs> um, to be chairing trade, travel, and tourism. Um, I, for me, economic development is a passion subject. So we have huge events coming with the World Cup and the Olympics and many other things. And this is a real opportunity to showcase our city. And that means building out our modernized transportation systems, making sure our city is connected. And for me, with LAX in my district, which is the entry point for tens of millions of visitors every year, I see a tremendous amount of opportunity to do workforce development, investment in infrastructure and transportation, modernizing our city as to infrastructure generally. You know, we have pipes under our city that are 100 years or more old in some places, and those are environmental disasters waiting to happen all of the time. We have bridges that are in need of repair. We have other plumbing that is in need of repair. We have an electrical grid that we are trying to get modernized and switch to 100% renewables. As we make those investments in infrastructure, not only are we creating a more modern, sustainable city, we are investing in good jobs and creating a built environment that makes this city more livable for everyone. So those projects check a lot of boxes for me too. And all the dynamics of the West Side, you did, you know, we've gone through a bit of some the crisis issues and some of the, you know, potential promise, but there's also, you mentioned the environment. So what are your main concerns or main hopes when it comes to the environment of District 11? Yeah, so it is an environmentally rich district. We have our beautiful Biona wetlands in the southern end of the district. This is an area that activists for decades fought to preserve. Those are threatened by overdevelopment. We've seen a lot of environmental degradation happen there over the last few years. Obviously, our gorgeous ocean and coastline and you know, to me personally, it is heartbreaking after a storm to see the amount of garbage and the pollution that flows into our ocean and washes up on our beaches. Um, we, in the last several months, installed the trash interceptor at the base of the Biona Creek. It looks a little bit like a boat and it floats right in the um, base of the Biona Creek and it has sort of a net system that catches trash and then moves it up a ramp onto the device and then it's disposed of properly on the other end. And it prevents all of that debris from going into our ocean. So investments like those upstream uh, all over the city and the county and beyond are things that I want to see. Has this experience been a surprise or a joy or a challenge or all of it? All of it. All of it? <laughs> all of it, yeah, you know? It has been just so much so fast. I mean, we had such a short runway between when the election was called and when I took office to hire staff and to build the team and you know understanding the legislative process, getting familiar with the various departments and functions has been an education for me. I feel really good about where we are. We've hit the ground running. I am already seeing and feeling the difference all over my district and the outpouring of support and gratitude that we have had from our constituents on the west side has made it all worth it. So if people wanted to get more information about what you're doing or even share what they want to tell you, what's the best way for them to do that? Sure, so the best thing to do would be to go to our new CD11 website. That is councildistrict11.lacity.gov. You can sign up to receive my weekly newsletters. We push out a lot of information about big developments at City Hall, pieces of legislation, events that are happening in the district, information that people need to know. We send those out on Saturdays, and so that's a really great way to stay in touch. Uh, following me on social media, at Councilwoman Tracy Park on Facebook and Instagram is a good way to stay in touch too. And all of our staff uh, contact information is up on our website. Well, congratulations um, and best of everything moving forward. And I hope you'll come back for multiple updates as time progresses. Thank you, Maria. I'm looking forward to it. And that's a wrap on this LA Currents.